Could it have been the coldest July in South Africa despite July 2023 being declared the hottest July on record globally? Let's get into the studio and investigate this. Firstly, it's undeniable that July was exceptionally warm on a global scale. The average temperature for July 2023 was 0.72 degrees Celsius higher than the average global temperature for the month of July. Now, why did some South Africans perceive the winter as colder despite this global heat? To answer this, we looked at the daily maximum temperatures from six different weather stations across South Africa. This includes Cape Town, Bluefontein, Mai King, Johannesburg, Polokwane, and Durban. And this is what the data showed. In Cape Town, July 2023 was definitely the coldest July this past five years. And this was also below the climate average for the month of July in Cape Town. That's about 18 degrees. The same for Polo Kwane, 2023 was the coldest July this past five years. But in the city of Johannesburg, 2023 was only the second coldest July, even if it's only by 0.3 degrees Celsius. 2021 was actually the coldest July. The same trend in Bloemfontein, 2023 only being the second coldest July this past five years. Also in a Mai King 2023 taking the silver medal and 2021 being the coldest July the past five years and yet again in Durban. So in some way we can say that it was the coldest July this past five years in the extreme west and extreme northern areas of South Africa but very close to the climate average over the west of South Africa. Notably, the cold trend was also seen in Cape Town's June 2023 temperatures, possibly indicating a colder winter overall. Keep in mind, these averages are only for June to July and not the entire winter season. For a comprehensive assessment of whether this was the coldest winter in Cape Town the past five years, we will need to wait for August to conclude and then compare the three-month average with the climate average. So in summary, while July was globally the hottest on record, localized weather patterns and temperatures can differ from the global trend. So South Africa's experience of a colder winter in some regions definitely highlights the complexity of climate variations even in the face of an overall warming trend. Last note, this is not a scientific white paper intended to be considered the sole authoritative answer Instead, this was just an analysis compiled by a very passionate meteorologist who has heard numerous complaints from Catonians that this was an unusually cold winter. And it seems like they were right. <laughs>